Hi, welcome back to part two of card number three. All right, now the only thing we have left is our little banner, and I'm going to show you a trick here to make a banner. Grab your rectangle tool, and I'm making mine, if you look at the squares, it's about a half, half an inch, make it half an inch by three inches, roughly. Okay, and then just make a small box. It doesn't, doesn't have to be any perfect size. Mine's, oops, if I hold my shift key, mine's 0.455. Grab that box, go to your rotate window, rotate 45 degrees clockwise. Take that box, line it up here, corner to corner, select both shapes, go to your, um, Modify window, hit subtract, and there you have a banner. I want to make my banner just a little bit wider. And I'm going to fill my banner with the dark pink color. Now we're just going to add our sentiment. I'm going to type Grab the font tool, we're going to type in white, click down, and I'm going to use this font called Boingo. I'm just going to type in Happy Holidays. Let's highlight it, let's fill it with white, it didn't keep that. Let's make the line, no line. You can click on it and make it a little bit bigger. And while we're here, we don't want this font line to cut, so let's just make sure that's selected and no cut. Okay? Go back to the home window. Let's highlight this. Right click, group. Actually, I think what I want to do is rotate this this direction. There we go. Now, highlight, right-click, group. And that's going to go right there. Okay, at this point, what I like to do when I'm doing print and cut is select everything on my mat and hit line color, no line. That way you don't print those red lines. Okay, so let's pull this apart and we need to be able to print this. So it's going to be on my, I have a wide printer, but most people have a, that only prints eight and a half by 11. So let's go to our page window. And let's choose letter. We need to print registration marks because it's a print and cut. So we're going to show registration marks. And then we need to start pulling these items onto our paper. Let's see how many we can fit on one sheet. I don't like to waste it. So let's see, I think we can probably. Take that, put that right there. This is a white sheet. That's not going to fit. We can cut this. Okay, now we need to check our cut lines and see what we got going on here. So if we click this, click cut edge, our scallop border, cut edge. Cut edge. Cut edge. Now let's see what this one does. Cut edge. Very good. If we want to take care of these while we're here, we can do that too. Cut edge. 
that edge. Okay, we're going to send this one to the printer. And then we're going to pull these off the mat and send these two to the printer and cut those out. And I don't think I'm going to show you the assembly anymore. I think you get the idea of that. The purpose of these videos was to show you what you can do with the silhouette. So I hope this helped you and I'll show you the finished card. Thanks.